I don't want to be here. You don't want to be here. So why don't you just answer the question? Maybe you don't want to be here, but I gotta say I'm pretty comfortable. I've done nothing wrong. Really? You sure about that? Because I'm pretty sure brutally murdering your wife classifies as something wrong. Well, it's a good thing I didn't murder her. So the morning of June 7th, 2010, you wake up, drink some coffee, walk in the kitchen, and there she is, dead on the floor. Stab wounds, everything. And your fingerprints on them. Is that what happened? I've told you a thousand times, I did not murder her. I loved her and she loved me. I would never put a finger on that damn knife. You're sick, you know that? We all know you did it. We just can't get it out of you. Well, I know someone who can. <laughs> what? Like the good cop, bad cop gig? I guess so. Hey there, Jimmy. So, you don't like to talk, huh? You think you can just sit there tapping your foot and not tell us anything? Well, not in my book. Well, actually, I've already told you everything. You just don't want to hear the truth, you idiot. Shut the heck up! You knew you were going to tell us one way or another. It's just a matter of time. Try me. So, you don't want to talk, huh? Ah! We'll see how calm you are in court! Sicko! I feel like we're getting nowhere with this guy. I know, he's as solid as a rock. But don't worry, he's bound to crack sooner or later. See me, sir? Yeah, uh, I want to see how the interrogation was going. Not too good, but he's close to cracking. Good, get it done. Now send in McCready. Yes, sir. You want to see me, sir? Oh, McCready, how are you doing? Fine, sir. Been working day and night. Doesn't seem to be getting anywhere, though. I think me and Felton are going to go head over to the suspect's house. Good, good. Now let's get this guy fried. I don't want to see him in my jail anymore. Yes, sir. It's safe. flash drive and bring it back to the chief. Hey, boy! We have, uh, investigated your house, and it seems that we found a video of you and your wife having a, uh, domestic disturbance. What do you have to say about that? I'm not gonna lie. We didn't have the perfect relationship, but I, I swear to God, I would never hurt, let alone kill her. I swear to God, I will hurt, let alone kill you. Let's see if that holds up in court. <laughs> oh, stupid! Oh!
about you now, Jimmy. Wait, McCready. No, McCready, don't. I don't understand. What is this? What is this? What do you think? She was my lover. She was my entire life. And then she leaves me the next day she meets this guy? I did what I needed to. You wrinkled nipple. You're sick! I can't let you leave. You know too much. And so does he. And now it's your turn. <sighs> what the heck? How about waffles? What the fuck? <sighs> that was a crazy dream. It was no dream. Felton. McCready. Felton. Oh, he's having that dream again. Why? 